Hi, my name is Bruce Wallstrom. I'm the owner of the Weeders Digest. We're the lake and pond help desk. And I want to show you how I took my own shoreline from this to this in less than 24 hours and actually turned the algae into logs. So here's the story. Just this last couple of weeks, the algae began blooming. This was a nasty algae bloom like we had never seen before. It filled my entire shoreline, and it, as well as the fact that even the, to the point where turtles couldn't hardly even move in it. This is my shoreline. I've actually got a total of 750 feet of shoreline on a peninsula and so about 300 feet of it was completely plugged full of algae and it began to compress by the wind and the wave act. This entire 350 feet of algae, it actually got to the point where you could actually begin to see it um, uh, going from about uh, three inches thick to eventually being about two feet thick. So at the same time we had this algae bloom, it was quite ironic that at that very day uh, a magazine was actually coming over to do a story about my business and the positive effects it was actually having on local lakes and actually on a worldwide basis. And so if you take a look you can see exactly what was behind us in the photo shoot. Needless to say we had to go to another location. Now certainly at this point in time we had a choice of how we wanted to manage this. This is basically what the Weeders Digest is all about is solving these type of issues and we've done it for people literally all around the world. But um, one option would be to use a herbicide and or an algicide and although we do carry those in our showroom it's our least favorite uh, method of using it. So we kind of decided to do the more unique So here's what we ended up doing. I got some of my tools that I carry at the Weeders Digest. We carry lake and pond tools for cutting weeds, raking weeds, reducing muck. Uh, we've got automatic um, uh, equipment. But one of the tools I used this particular day was my lake rake that it's got floats on it. It's about my simplest tool that I've got, my least expensive tool. Did a phenomenal job and basically went to town, started pulling in the algae and you know tossing it out there. I could you know, toss it about 30 feet and just slowly begin to bring it in. Pretty amazing actually. So as you see it all come in, it was just a piece of cake. And of course you'd find all those tools available at the Weeders Digest. Now this is where it got rather exciting and something you've probably yeah, never seen before. Even if you're in the harvesting business, you've probably never seen this happen anywhere. We got a, a large pump designed and we've been working on this concept for actually a couple of years and uh, we had kind of the perfect storm at my own shoreline, went out there and those would, would be approximately an acre and a half of floating algae and again not just on the surface down, but down below as well. We began sucking it right out of the lake, never went in the water, I never even put my waders on. This was uh, a two-man operation, uh, what I think would have taken, you know, maybe uh, 40 to 50 hours if you were just doing it with a rake and, uh, you know, kind of your basic tools. But once again, at the Weeders Digest, that's what we specialize in. In addition to that, we used uh, a very popular, what we call our aqua blaster. We use that to help push the, uh, push it all right into the area that we are working. It allowed us to not have to go out there and rake as much. So what do we do with all this algae? I actually put it right up on my yard, allowed it to actually drain off, and what the most important thing of this process was that we emulsified it. In other words, we took those, um, you know, what probably would have been, you know, I would say tons of algae and phosphorus and instead of actually having to deal with tons of algae we actually had a pump that would spin it so fast that it would actually what we call emulsify it and so it, it was no longer when it landed on my yard it was no longer uh, thick algae it was just the very you know basic components of what the algae was and it also squeezed the air out of it so it made it very small look at you know, this is, a, this is about an acre's worth of algae on my yard allowed to drain off. And then what I did was actually go in, let it dry for a few days, and rip it up. 
and actually if uh, an individual happened to have a, a lawnmower set up for it, you could have actually mulched it. Um, if I would have let it dry a few more days, I probably would have been able to blow it um, with a leaf blower. But I had some impending rain that I wanted to make sure that I, that I had it off the lawn. I let it sit there for three days, and then after I got it all done, I simply removed it. Now, one other method would be that you could burn it, but, you know, in my opinion, um, if my goal here was to be good to the environment, burning it would not be the right thing to do. So if you can just imagine for a moment the incredible amount of phosphorus that's been removed from the lake that's been applied to my lawn, that in the end result, from an environmental standpoint, from a, a, the footprint that I'm leaving behind, is so dramatically different than had I gone out, gone through the normal process, allowed the algae to just die, sink to the bottom, create another level of muck, another level of, of phosphorus and nutrients on the bottom of the lake. Instead, what I've done is remove the algae, remove the phosphorus, put it on my lawn, fertilized my lawn, rolled these up, made logs out of them, uh, put an ad on Craigslist. Within a matter of a couple hours, I had somebody stop by for the purpose of being able to fertilize their lawn with high nutrient, high phosphorus uh, algae that would be phenomenal in any garden. And then, of course, more importantly, uh, on a personal note, that I can actually enjoy my shoreline, that I don't have a bunch of muck on the bottom, and that I didn't have to use any herbicides, algicides, or, you know, anything else that would have um, uh, possibly damaged the environmental conditions of my shoreline and, of course, the lake itself. So um, here's an opportunity for the Weeders Digest to rather than just uh, try to improve my own shoreline for my own benefit for my own swimming it actually was in, uh, improving the benefits of the lake itself and the environment and um, doing the better thing for uh, for everyone involved. So again this is Bruce with Weeders Digest thank you for taking a, a time to look at this little video just to show you one way that Weeders Digest is making a difference on lakes and ponds literally throughout the world.